With each eviction notice came a new and inconsistent reason for eviction, ranging from city beautification to building drainage to building roads to improving the site for tourism and other purposes. The final eviction notice is for two reasons, one to build uh, a road and also for a private company, Sur Surun. Now uh, that eviction notice is illegal on the face of the document because City Hall has absolutely no jurisdiction to issue an eviction notice on behalf of a private company. <coughs> Uh, this morning we're at the Court of Appeal. The uh, community has uh, lodged an application to, uh, for an injunction to stop the eviction. The tragedy of the Group 78 community is that it is such a well-documented case. All the possession right documents are there. The community has done all the right things. It has gone to the Cadastral Commission. It has applied for land title. And they just have not had a decision issued in accordance with Cambodian law. There is chance that the community is evicted. We can push the World Bank to take action on the on the case of Group 28. They're professionals. They work for the uh, Cambodian government. They're teachers. Uh, they're market vendors, and they've been peacefully living on their land for 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 tw uh, uh, almost 20 years now. And uh, under, under Khmer law, they have very strong legal rights, which simply have not been uh, recognised by any, any uh, uh, Cambodian authority. The NGO community and community networks and communities themselves will need to think about the ramifications of this case, that, that if this case can't win, what, what is the future direction of, of the approach that communities should take when they're defending their land rights? <laughs> I am 19 years old. And how long have you lived here? Um, I have been lived here for nine years. It's my mom. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 21. And are you a student? Yes. What do you study? I'm studying my grade 12. And what do you want to do when you leave school? Um, I want to study law. See. Sisters or? Yes, my, my sister. And the, the little girl is your daughter? Yes. My niece. Oh, your niece? Oh, okay. Her daughter. She study at a Christian school near Bangin Gong Market. Okay. And are you a Christian? No. <laughs> you are a Buddhist? Yes, but I think all the religions are good, the same. The community could be evicted at any time? Perhaps even on Friday, as threatened by the municipal authorities. 
This is the message that we are getting from the City Hall themselves and from the Village Chief it's, uh, saying by verbally that uh, an eviction will happen on Friday uh, if the community doesn't accept the compensation package that's currently on offer, which is radically lower than the market value of the land. <laughs> <laughs> Just told her that uh, they will uh, order her house uh, on July 17 uh, if she uh, 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 still stay here. Yeah, and uh, also if she decides to stay here and if they border her house up to the 17th, and if she wants some money from the city hall, they won't give her, not even one real. And she's uh, very afraid, very concerned about that because she has a lot of children. So that's why she accepted the offer. Yeah. When city hall says we will not be responsible for what happens, it's referring to the fact that the community will be destroyed, that, that uh, security forces will enter into the, into the community and start to break down their houses with axes and other, other tools. Until about two weeks ago, we had 66 families who were all very strong and, and, and ready to fight. And uh, as the feeling of fear has become more palpable about the forced eviction, uh, there are currently only 20 families still negotiating left. That's, that's of the original 146 families that were here um, uh, in, in 2006. The Australian Embassy's position has been quite uh, consistent. They, their position is that they do not get involved in individual domestic cases and they refuse to make public statements. They say it is more effective to work quietly through the, uh, through the government and make, make uh, quiet representations. We just about to meet the, uh, the World Bank uh, to discuss the Land Management Administration Project, which was meant to design to protect, uh, give land tenure security to, to the uh, urban and rural poor of Cambodia. And so the Group 78 community is going to ask the question uh, why this particular project hasn't helped them. Let's see what happens. The World Bank has to has to go away and think uh, think what what it wants to say whether whether quiet consultation is is going to be enough or whether they they make a public statement. But we'll have to wait and see what they decide to do. They haven't got much time. They have, they've got very little time. Well, they've got plenty of time, but the community has no time. <laughs>